Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Monday, February 27th. It's unfortunately raining a lot. I was really looking forward to the natural light just like washing over me this morning. Alas. Anyway, I want to say a quick thank you because I just posted my video from last week like 12 hours ago and I've already gotten like a lot of positive reactions which is honestly just so it just makes me feel really good because obviously that was like a very vulnerable <laughs> video and to like see that people are so supportive also that people can relate i'm sorry that you can relate because that's terrible but it, it feels good to know that like me sharing my experience is helpful in some way anyway so today we have a few things to do the class schedules for next quarter just came out so you know me i love to plan <laughs> even if i don't like to do so i'm about to schedule out my quarter i mean my classes for next quarter i'm honestly i'm excited i don't know if i've told you guys this i think i have but we're, we're taking tennis next quarter and it's gonna be fun we're also gonna try to get into golf that class is hard to get into but if i can get into both i'm about to be an athletic girly and it's gonna be great <laughs> i know this looks silly and i should have showed you this before i wrapped it but i just made a breakfast burrito and some chai Okay, I ate breakfast. I had to do this like onboarding stuff for my summer job. So I just did that. Now I'm going to do this enrollment stuff. They've changed it um, this quarter so that we can plan our schedule ahead of time. And then tomorrow or Wednesday when the thing opens, we can enroll in all the classes at once. I'm not really sure how that's going to work as far as like classes that have a set number of spots, but whatever. Guys, look at how unserious this is. But I'm also so serious. Tennis and golf? Cannot wait. I have to take property, unfortunately. And then uh, I had to throw a little writing workshop in there. That's going to be perfect for me, I think, hopefully. And then I just needed another class. And that looked interesting. There literally were no other interesting classes in the law school that fit in my schedule. So we're leaving. We're leaving the law school. The sun is finally coming out. That's good. So we get 30 classes, 30 credits that we can take outside of the law school. I haven't taken any yet. This quarter, next quarter, I'll be taking one, two, three, four, five. Only five. I literally can like spend my my next year not in the law school. I know enough about the law, okay? I don't need to do anything else. I'm sure I will, but I'm just saying. This was my to-do list for yesterday. I just finished it. Um, corpse, I don't like... There's just, I don't even have anything specific to do. I'm just like, I need to do stuff for that class. Anyway, let's see. It looks like, ugh, my group's on call again. And how are we still talking about mergers? Like, oh, that's what I need to do. Read and write a reflection for this class. I also need to read and write reflections for my myth law class. Uh, I need to have a very productive next few hours. If I do that, honestly, this week probably won't be that bad. Since I'm like not doing anything with my book anymore i'm just waiting i have so many thoughts i want to go somewhere i wish i had my car my car is literally still in the shop can you believe that they're they just kept finding things wrong i think it's all one issue that they just found and now that they found that issue they've already done all this other work that probably didn't need to be done but they're charging me for it and i'm just like this car is old old it's like 17 18 years old and i'm like i don't really want to be putting all this money into this car because i'm not taking it with me when i leave the state of california i'm just not doing that i'll sell it and i'll get a new car on the east coast uh it's just annoying like right now i wish i could just get in my car and like go to a cafe or something and do work i could take my scooter somewhere but i'm like where do i where do i put my scooter then i just bring it inside sounds kind of corny okay i just made my to-do list for today even though it's 1 50 p.m. We have a lot of day left. I have to read and write a reflection for my biosciences class. I have to write two reflections for my myth law class. And then I can read for corpse tomorrow and then read that book that I was showing you guys last week. I feel like that's a doable to-do list. My to-do lists usually are not that doable. The one thing that might not be doable is writing two myth law reflections. I might just write one. For that class, we have to write a total of 18 pages in reflections for the quarter. I think I've written like around 10. So I'm like almost done with that. But I would like to finish it before finals week because I know I'm going to have to do a, be doing a lot of other stuff finals week. Now let's see what we're reading about for biosciences this week. I just left my house literally just to take out the trash because I was like, I need to... I can literally stay in here for so long and I just won't even think anything of it. So I went and got, got some fresh air. <laughs> That's good. Get your fresh air, kids. Open your window at least. You won't even tell how stale your air is getting. 
so it's too late. That was dramatic. It looks like we're reading about health insurance and religious liberty. That sounds fun and fresh. Let's dive on in. Guys, I'm struggling. I literally, the words, my brain, they're not cooperating. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, guys, it's nighttime now. Honestly, today was not as productive as I hoped it would be. Are we surprised? No. We're not. We are disappointed. I have just been like extremely low energy today. My brain literally won't do anything. I sat and stared at a blank page for an hour. An hour. And all I see was write a reflection. Nothing serious. But for some reason my brain just like not my friend is um she's having a party at her dorm across campus to celebrate her recent diagnosis of her neurodivergence and I'm gonna go to that because she's my friend. You know what, maybe my low energy is because the 30% of me that's still an extrovert like hasn't been fed recently. I haven't been around other people since Thursday and it's Tuesday. Yeah, saying that out loud, I'm like, okay. I see why there might be an issue. So hopefully this like energizes me in a way that makes it so that I can do my work. You're sliding, so bye. Only 40 minutes late. Me so. I would also be okay with that. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's just, it's just for me from that side. No. To... That's me, so. That's the <laughs> It's bedtime. I um, went to my friend's party. And I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if I just haven't been around people for a long time, but I was a little bit overwhelmed, overstimulated. I was like, ooh, there's a lot going on here, and I don't have the capacity to, like, insert myself. It's also because I just don't really know, or I didn't really know those people. But at the end, everyone left, and it was just, like, me and her and our other close friend. And, like, that was better. But I'm just like, wow, I'm really, 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 really in my introvert era because the way I thought that that might give me energy. No. Opposite. I was ready to come home. Um, love her though if she's watching this anyway i got home did some journaling all the things that like are happening in my life i'm like i know that i'm supposed to learn from all of this and so i'm trying to like learn and reflect and do all those things so that i don't have to learn these lessons ever ever again in my life and in my future lives if that's a thing either because mm -mm, we're not doing this again or just not so i'm just try i'm trying to be very intentional about learning and growing and just seeing what the universe is trying to tell me because when i said this is just literally not something i'm going through again it's not like it's just it's not anyway i completed approximately 25 percent of what i set out to complete to today which is unfortunate are we surprised no we always make our to-do list more ambitious than we can manage that means i do have to do reading in the morning before class tomorrow because i have not read corporations i just need to like we're in week eight right we don't have much time left i just need to try harder i mean that's what it comes down to I'm not trying enough oh. anyway so okay it's 1 a.m almost on the dot you remember last quarter when i had to go to sleep at like 10 30 11 p.m yeah, I miss her. I'm going to get up at 8, get ready, film a TikTok all by 9, clean my room, and eat between 9 and 9.30. I'll read from like 9.30 to 11. Mm, 9.30 to like 10.30. And then I'll have some buffer room because I'm sure I'll get behind. Guys, I'm tired. I'm tired. Like not even just I want to go to sleep right now. I'm just tired of doing all this. Okay, good night. Hey guys, I overslept. Somehow, I guess I didn't set an alarm apparently. So I woke up at 8.43, almost an hour into my first hour. So the schedule I said, I said last night, it's just, it's gone. I don't even know. I got ready. I made my TikTok. So that means I'm supposed to now eat and clean. Well, we know it's getting cut reading, obviously. Um, that's unfortunate. I really was planning on doing that. Oh, well. Look, I washed the dishes, and I almost have put all my clothes away from off the floor, so that's good. Okay, it's 10.45, so we have 25 minutes till class. I'm annoyed. Okay, I won't use that word. I, um, well, I'll just say it's raining. Again, it's been nonstop raining recently. I really wish I had my car so I could just drive to class because I'm like, riding the scooter in the rain, I can't hold an umbrella the water's just gonna be splashing in my eyes. I'm like, that doesn't sound pleasant. 
but also walking for 15, 18 minutes or whatever in the rain also does not sound pleasant. And I'm just like, I need my car. I need it back expeditiously. I can't do anything about that. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll probably end up scootering because I'm probably not going to leave within the next 10 minutes, which means I'll have to scooter or be late. I'm probably going to be late regardless. <laughs> I'm about to respond to you guys' very nice YouTube comments. You guys see how ugly it is out here? I kind of miss walking and talking with you, that was fun, but I will not be walking while it's ugly, so sorry, I'm about to take my scooter. So apparently there's a, a GVM for Balsa today, which means I get free lunch. Cheers to that. I look like a grandma. This actually was my grandma's. Anyway, today was a weird. It was just weird vibes. Like, I don't know. My mental class was so funny. I don't know, like, I don't know why, but I laughed so hard in that class multiple times. It was the class we were talking about our Myers Briggs. I am INFP right now, by the way. I say right now because I used to be an ENTJ back in my youth when I was spry and happy. <laughs> I'm an INFP, which like, I feel like it fits, it does. I won't be surprised if one day I'll go back to it, to an E or anything else. Honestly, like when I got my test results back, literally all of them are like right on the border. And I'm like, I'm just a down the middle kind of girl, I guess. That just might mean I'm indecisive. I don't know, but that's what it is. I definitely do be in my feelings, and I do be inside. I do be imagining, imagining. Okay, that's enough. Oh gosh, I keep saying anyway. My brain in the past day or two has been so like, I've been so scatterbrained. I literally cannot focus on my schoolwork for the life of me. And I'm just like, Zoe, we're in, we're in week eight. Come on. And I just realized next week is week nine. Week 10, we only have class on Monday. Why is it called 10 weeks? I don't know. I'm confused. I'm genuinely confused. The point is, last week at the end of the quarter, I kind of fell off the wagon and I'm like, listen, we're not doing that again, okay? Especially like with classes that I actually like, like incorporations, I'm like, we haven't been on the, on the wagon since week two, so it's fine. But with evidence, for example, I'm like, listen, I will stay on that wagon if it is dragging me by a singular strand of hair. We're not getting off the wagon. Between, oh, it's almost over, like it's not that big of a deal, and oh, it's almost over, Maybe I should try a little bit harder for everything. But my brain, it's just not. I have been scrolling a lot recently and I'm not much of a, of a scroller. Like when people are like, oh, I have to delete this app because I'm scrolling too, for too many hours a day. Like when people say that in my head, I'm just like, just stop scrolling. Why are you deleting the whole app? Just practice some self-discipline. I don't know. But i get it no i get it because i just i've been scrolling and i'm like what's going on and also today i spent like two hours trying to plan a spring break trip for myself a solo spring break trip and like that was so hard because i'm like literally going anywhere in the state of california is expensive because this state is expensive and i'm like i'm like i want to stay over here because when else am i gonna see all this stuff i mean i could probably in my future but like I'm here now, you know? And also if I don't go anywhere, I'm just gonna be sitting here in my room for two weeks. That does not sound good. That doesn't sound good at all. But I'm also like, I don't wanna spend, like probably minimum, I would have to spend $500 for like a flight accommodations. If I don't get a flight, I'll probably have to, or a flight accommodations, rental car, and then like food and stuff while I'm there. That's expensive. Like I could go somewhere driving distance, but one, as we see, my car is very finicky. I don't really want to drive it somewhere far away and then something happened. I could run a car, that adds another cost. And then regardless, I still have to like stay somewhere unless I just want to do day trips over and over and over again, which 
I guess I could, but that sounds tiring. I'm gonna go somewhere where I can just like sit there. Like, I don't know, sit by the beach or sit in nature of some sort and just like read a book or something like that. Like I'm not trying to, I'm gonna be by myself. So I'm not trying to like do a whole lot. There are a lot of places in this state to do that, but they're all so expensive. I'm like, why the heck? Is everything in this, like, it's nature. Why is it expensive? Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. It's 10 o'clock p.m. I got home, took a shower, scrolled for about an hour. And I was like, Zoe, Zoe, I should probably read for literally anything. I didn't finish reading that book that I showed you guys last week, Corporations in 100 Pages. Um, I'm banking on that probably way too much to, like, get me through this course. Also, both of my exams this quarter have like a significant multiple choice. It's 40% multiple choice. And I'm like, ooh, that's not very normal for law school. I don't really know how I feel about it. Because if you if you know a class, multiple choice can be like really good. Last year, my multiple choice exam was torts. And that was the exam that I did best on. But like, I, I liked torts. I was good at torts. So that checks out. But like, law school exams, if you don't know the class, multiple choice, it's terrible. It's awful. I think multiple choice would probably be good for evidence since like I feel like I know that class, but corporations, multiple choice might have me looking so stupid, <laughs> so dumb, and I just cannot, I can't have that. We still have time. It's fine. And then I only have two exams, so like it's fine. I think. I'm still, my entertainment final, I'm just like, I don't know what's going on there. We basically have to do like a fake negotiation deal sort of thing. Like, okay, I, I guess I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. I don't, I don't know what to say. And then my other two classes, neither of them have anything because we've, I've been writing these reflection papers throughout. I love those. That's a, those are really good classes. We should do that more often. Just keep putting this lavender oil all over me because I don't know why. Okay. Oh my god, eight minutes? Sometimes I just get on here and I talk too much. Eight minutes is a long time. I literally, like, if you asked me, I would have been like, yeah, I've probably been talking for two minutes. It's probably because I literally don't talk all day. Like, I go through my day, then I say, like, 30 words, and then I get home, and I'm like, I have so many thoughts. Time to share. And then you guys are standing right there, so I'm like, next thing you know, it's been nine minutes. So let me end this because you know what's really annoying? Here I go again. You know what's really annoying? When I upload all my videos at the end of the week and it says two hours of content, I'm just like, Zoe, be for real right now. Because who wants to be looking through all that? I don't. Let me end this. Okay, guys, it's midnight. I'm going to sleep. I did not read that much. Just couldn't do it, but whatever. I am actually made sure I set my alarm this time, so I'm getting up at 8. Good night. Hi. Hey guys, I'm with my friend. Do you want to go by Matt or Matthew? Matt. Okay, this is my friend Matt. He's just giving me therapy. No, no I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> He's making me feel better about my life, which is just as important. Everybody say thanks, Matt. <laughs> I'm shy. Okay guys, it's 6.53 or something. We have a notes committee meeting for law review at 7, which I cannot be late for. I can be late to class, but I cannot be late to this. We are voting on like the first round of notes, whether or not we're going to accept. Voting. Out there, there's a world outside of Yonkers. I've had the weirdest past like 12 hours. Yesterday my brain literally would not shut up. It never shuts up, but usually it's just in the background not shutting up. And yesterday like it was in the foreground not shutting up and it was driving me up a wall. I literally, in evidence, <laughs> this is really embarrassing. I literally started crying. You wear masks in evidence and just my tears my professor because that's a professor that likes me <laughs> he just like come kept coming and standing next to me because i sit on the edge and in the front and i was like sir you are drawing attention to my tears leaving my eye ducts tear ducts i just couldn't stop crying and that's when my friend matt <laughs> he sits like next to me a seat next to me, a seat he sits near me in that class and he was like bestie um are you okay and i was like i'm totally fine just having an existential crisis internally. And that's when we 
went on our little walk yesterday and I introduced him to you guys. I love him. He's great. And then, okay, yeah, we had our law review, our, oops, our notes committee selection thing last night. And that was our first one. It's actually, I don't know, I kind of liked it. It was good vibes. It was also very like, wow, this is really real. Because the notes we received, they're all good. But we have to be so critical. And it's just crazy how few we can accept and how we really have to just tear them apart basically i was ready to sit there and praise everyone's hard work but we had to um be kind of mean so that's all yeah so after my notes meeting when my brain was being continuing to be far too loud i literally sat in my bed turned on my comfort show high school musical the musical the series and i just fell asleep at like 10 o'clock oh also I didn't get any of the classes that I wanted. Granted, the law ones, like, I'm sure I will get those, but law school is slow, basically, and they're like, yeah, I know that registration opens today, but we're not actually ready to register for you, whatever. But, like, tennis, golf, and the communications class, they all filled up, and I was logged on at 9 p.m., ready to go, but it took literally 20 minutes to load by the time mine loaded full, and I was heartbroken because I really like tennis that's the only thing I've been looking forward to and I don't know what I'm gonna do now honestly I need to like do some sort of fitness class next quarter still I just need that kind of dopamine whatever that releases I need that in my life I might have to pay for something now instead of doing it on campus which is annoying we all must make choices in life it's the middle of the day and I'm sitting in my bed so that's usually not a good sign but I feel fine I just couldn't leave the house yet so i made my matcha and i'm reading for evidence i'm just gonna read this class i'm gonna stop raving about it because you guys are probably like we get it zoe you like evidence and you're right no need to hammer it in oh my gosh exams are in like two weeks which is crazy i have to get really smart really soon honestly just moderately smart okay see you i've been reading for the past few hours i remembered i haven't eaten <laughs> so i made some ravioli can it ugh. for some reason that literally smells like a wet dog i'm not kidding that smells exactly like apollo in the rain we're gonna ignore that 154 so i have evidence in two hours okay we still have plenty of time that's good hey guys it's 354 so i have class in 20 minutes and i need to get dressed but i also need to exercise I'm gonna do 10 burpees. I just don't know how to get back into regular exercise without someone literally forcing me. Okay, let me get dressed. It's getting sporty chic. You can't even see. Jacket from when it gets cold later. Colorful shoes. Gymshark. Okay, I'm about to. This is how I make myself late. You see this room? That took way too long. And it's not even perfect. I still have some clothes on my couch. And I didn't even touch my bathroom, which. It's a mess. It's after midnight now, so I'm going to sleep. Hey guys! I am going to be on time to entertainment today, but I also must pick up a chai, which means I have to leave in literally two minutes. Entertainment, that's a class where I show up looking any sort of way, because I'm just like, it's Friday morning. Why would I put in any sort of effort to my appearance? That doesn't make any sense. You know what, how I was looking for a, um, I was trying to plan like a spring break trip for myself. Yeah, I quit because everything is too expensive. Also, I'm supposed to be getting my car back today and it's literally two freaking thousand dollars. And I'm like, I, I, I simply don't have the kind of money. So I'm crowdsourcing from all the adults in my life. Could you spare a few hundred coins? By coins I mean dollars because this is ridiculous and then when I realized that going somewhere in California would be too expensive especially because like this would be my first solo trip and like I don't know how much I'm gonna like it and like I cannot I just can't justify spending that much money and maybe not enjoy myself that much so yeah I'm not doing it and then I was like maybe I'll just go home for a spring break flights to go home are literally seven hundred dollars and I'm playing okay so I'll be sitting here I'll be sitting here bored for two weeks I'll try to find like things to do but that'll be a problem for two weeks from now because it's just kind of sad that I just stay here Gosh, I literally okay I'm not gonna say that I hate how I look right now I'm going to say that nothing I'm not gonna say anything if you don't have anything nice to say don't say anything at all I'm gonna put on my shoes and I'm gonna go to class let's go hello guys I feel like this week has been kind of boring 
sorry sometimes you need boring weeks in your life back from class obviously i ate i had to do this law review assignment and now i'm about to go pick up my car because they just called me and told me that it's ready i think i'm going to scooter to the car place because i don't feel like spending money i don't feel like paying for an uber it's three and a half miles away which is i don't know moderately far but not that far i feel like it'll be fine so pray for me after that i am going to on a hike just trying to like i don't know have some sort of regular fitness routine if doing this hike on fridays can add to it then we're gonna do that and then after that i'm gonna go to the mall the stanford mall i told you guys i deserve a treat i really do i've been trying to figure out my work situation for this summer it's that time of the year where all the firms are trying to like plan the summer associate program so they're like okay when are you coming when are you leaving that kind of thing most people come and leave at the same time but since stanford is annoying with this quarter system we start like three weeks after everybody but i'm gonna go a week early and just do my first week of working during finals week because i'm just like i would rather do that than start three weeks late especially since i'm doing a touchback at my firm from last summer so i'm probably going to be working 12 weeks instead of 10 weeks if i didn't start until after finals i wouldn't end working until september that's just not gonna work so i'm just trying to figure out like the logistics with all of that stuff because the firms are trying to figure out all of that stuff and i have to make sure i'm working enough to still to satisfy the conditions for both of my scholarship offers so that's my main priority um how am i maximizing my funds it's an expensive time to be alive a girl's gotta eat so funny literally a year ago i would have been like scared to say that i have food stamps on the internet i'm like everybody please go get food stamps this is our money if you're eligible then you need to you need to do it isn't life lovely as a work as a woman it's so lovely being a woman i love always considering how to not get manipulated it's so fun we're leaving i'm gonna put my sunnies on because i look way cooler i don't know why okay i can't find my black sunnies so what is this giving it's kind of camp right just kidding, I don't even know what that means. It is a day for celebration. My car is fixed and I have newfound freedom. I've just hated my clothing recently. Like clothes are really important to me as far as like how I feel every day and they just aren't giving. Maybe I'll get me a, a top or two and that'll be our Friday. Hey guys, last minute change of plans. I'm going to Oakland with my friends. So I'll see you later tonight. Guys, I just got home. It's 1 11 a.m. I enjoyed myself. This is one of those times where I, when, I, when I socialized and actually like felt like a normal person instead of feeling like I need to go home immediately. So we love that. But now it's time to go to sleep. Good morning guys happy saturday today we are going to san francisco wait but look at this matcha i made it's literally so pretty hey guys we're in dog patch visiting Hi. daphne she's taking us to one of her did you say this is one of your favorite brunch favorite brunch places okay lovely and then we're i don't know they know what we're doing better than <laughs> i do we're, gonna have we're going fun. to see the tulips for international women's day i think so yeah yay tulips tulips Bye. Bye. My toxic trait is like when I see I've been recorded, I can't just like lose. <laughs> Act natural. Yeah. <laughs> nice up update my vlog. Oh yeah. Does vlog quantitate daily? Not necessarily. Mm -hmm. I think it just connotates like I show what I'm doing and not I am like talking about this specific thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I kind of have a stomach ache for my seafood salad. Do you think I'm gonna eat tennis? Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> from your very clean blender i don't it think so clean. i was in the process of planning it yeah but i think you would get like an infection before you get tetanus doesn't like, tetanus like, isn't that rust. like rust yeah oh is it yes yeah i thought it was like inherent inherent to who metal oh. if you get sliced by metal you're gonna get tetanus no a lot of us would have tetanus Wait, wakes up with lore <laughs> please don't please. say that Please, do not <laughs> exacerbate 
the universe. Everyone send good health vibes to Daphne. Kristen and I are about to head out. We had a really fun day. Tell them what we did. What did we do today? We went to Union Square. No, before that we went to brunch. We went to the bunch, best brunch, brunch place ever. <laughs> Went to the Southern California American cuisine brunch mm -hmm. fusion. And then we went to Union Square, looked at some food. I'm that we, tired. <laughs> looked at some stuff that we can afford in like 10 years, maybe some $700 Three. dresses. Three years. Three, years. Three years. Three years, yes. And then we came back, did some homework, like the smart law students that we are. <laughs> And I think now we're all separately gonna watch the Selena Gomez documentary, but separately, and then we're gonna talk about it. Yeah. We had Greek food for dinner. Daphne made me a smoothie, basically. But cut her finger before. Yeah, hence the tetanus jokes. Yeah. When I get home, I'm gonna take a shower, mm -hmm. and then I'm probably gonna start editing this vlog so that I can post it tomorrow. I keep Aww. saying I'm gonna get back on schedule with my Sunday, Sunday uploads, but it was a whirlwind. Life's a whirlwind when in, when you're this fabulous. What's I that? actually feel like we're I'm so awkward on this. The like, Wizard of Oz. What does that mean? I was gonna turn the whirlwind into a tornado. Oh wow! Life's a whirlwind, and I love I'm that. Dorothy. I'll be Toto. <laughs> what am I the super? Okay. <laughs> the cause of all my problems. You're the what? The scarecrow. <laughs> I'm the scarecrow. The lion. The cowardly lion. You should be the lion. Or you could be the witch. I feel like I feel like I sometimes do identify with the witch. Yeah. Like I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Or like glitch the tin man. No. no. Now we're we're just listing characters. <laughs> Cause tetanus. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Okay guys, it's time to say goodbye for this week. I washed my hair, I edited my vlog. It is almost 4 p.m. on this Sunday afternoon. It's sunny, that's lovely, I should go outside. Next week is our last week of class of winter quarter. And then we have one quarter left until we only have one year of law school left. Oh my gosh. When I put it like that, it almost sounds bearable. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Since I'm gonna be here over spring break, I'll probably do like some batch recording. So if you have any like specific videos you wanna do, let me know in the comments and we can make something shake for sure. I'll see you guys next week.